why I'm so ready for all the comments about appreciate your natural hair. So many people are going to expect me to either be very very hip to all the lingo and verbiage of scholarly peoples that study black hair that watches I'm just black. I'm just black. <laughs> Hello. I'm just a black person. Hello you guys. Hey friends. Hi. Um, so I am going to be getting ready to go absolutely nowhere as per usual. I'm gonna be talking about some stuff. I have my flat iron turned on because I'm gonna be doing my hair. I have my bang wig on and popping. I kind of brushed her out. She looks kind of cute. So I have many things to talk about and I kind of almost had notes written down but then I did not complete them because I got sidetracked. What's Nori? Every time I do that, it looks ugly. <laughs> Say it with me, kids. What's Nori? Um, why did I? <laughs> um, okay. Let me add a pretty bow, a pretty clip in my hair that matches with my sweater. No, that looks absolutely beautiful. So ready for all the comments about appreciate your natural hair. Something I, I, that's cute. Anyway, I was gonna initially make this video about so many different things, but I'm realizing the more and more I realize that my hands are always ashy and more I sit here and I get over being irritated and just like, not necessarily, I'm not angry, I'm just, I'm tired. You know when you're sick and tired or being sick and tired, that's that's where I'm at. Do I make of it? Do I talk about it? Is it worth it? No, not really. Ain't nobody, nothing's about to happen. But I'm just like, what's that sound? But I'm just like, at this point in time, I mean, is, is it, it's better to say something than to not. These people are still gonna get their check. If we continue, to not say anything, even though we have many people saying something, people are gonna continue to think it's okay and think like, they're gonna get tired of talking about it, so I'm just gonna keep doing it until they get tired of talking about it, you know what I mean? These bangs look horrible. That's not very cash money of you. <laughs> I was just on Instagram minding my own godforsaken black business. Because I follow her, because I'm a fan, Tiana Sis has box braids. Um, or what it looks like to appear as box braids. But you know how like people are doing doing box braids, but it's kind of like almost go straight. It just like has some hair, some of the hair out. It looked like that, but she did it with her own hair. And I was like, oh, that's smart because her scalp isn't gonna fall off. I was thinking like, did she like just do box braids? Thinking of the, the whole structure of how she got her hair done. Like, did she get the front of her hair done or like the top the layer of her hair done so that her scalp wouldn't fall out? But it looks like she has box braids. She didn't get the full shebang. And I'm just like, I'm immediately, I'm just like, bro, I'm immediately disappointed. You too type shit. And it's just like, I don't know why being a k-pop stan being a black k-pop stan i'm expecting certain people to not be a part of like you should know better crew but like time and time again more and more people amaze you and it's just like why am i surprised at this point i guess i'm gonna be doing probably the same makeup step for a long period of time because i'm talking and i cannot focus on anything at twice does it make sense? Because multitasking doesn't make sense, okay? It's not gonna be like, oh, not my fave. Like, we're not really into scarcity politics on this channel. It's like, okay, so why am I still supporting y'all? And I don't wanna ever get it, make it to be like a race against race thing, but it just really, it all boils down to y'all just not caring. Because I don't want it to be a race versus race thing because that's gross. It just ends up making things very, very difficult. You're just left in a place where it's almost, it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing, especially the people that don't listen to K-pop, especially people that, you know, aren't familiar with this whole genre of music and everything that goes into the fandom, the whole community and the international community. You're already looked at weird. 
but then when you see people do things like this and then this gets on social media and this is on the fucking shade room and shit this isn't but like you guys know what i mean stuff like this happening could be on the shade room or just like on platforms where other black people are seeing you know the normies everybody's looking at you like you crazy like you boo boo the fool and it's just like yes like do i put on the red nose before or after the big shoes like i don't like i just <sighs> Okay, so it's very funny. I started talking and my camera cut off and I didn't know. So I already have my concealer on. Meaning, I've talked a lot and I forgot what I said. So, I'm going to try. <laughs> so, basically what I was saying, I started talking about Amber from FX. I'm a very, 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 very big fan of FX. Um, and... Uh, um, and... First of all, I just want to say everything that happened. When you want to address something without directly addressing it because you don't want to get too deep into it because it deserves a whole other video, you guys know what I'm talking about. This is why I don't want to make videos like this, but I have to remember that they're needed in this community. Because if no one's going to make them, if I'm not going to make them, who will? Do you get what I'm saying? What I was going to say, the whole Amber thing and the guy in the sandwich, um, so I talked about her, and Amber had been, she has held, held the spot of my ultimate female bias um, ever since I made my bias list. Whenever that was in the early 2010s. It's just like, it's a slap in the face. It's like, it, this situation reminded me of that situation because it gets really, really awkward on the fans end. If, if, if this doesn't affect you, I'm obviously not talking about you or your perspective um, on the black fans end. Um, it gets really awkward because this is something that, that directly affects you versus someone that you directly support. Like literally you support, you give your coin to support this person, you give your time, you give your energy, you give your subconscious energy to support this person. And it's like, dang, why am I supporting people that don't support me? And that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of like the age old question, like when it comes to K-pop stands. Um, black k-pop stands <laughs> let me just be clear because some people are people are gonna be so ready well and this is really i know age old question for black k-pop stands why do i support people that don't support me and it's it's not a question that could be answered off of one instance it's not a question that can be answered off of a couple things like people are people people make mistakes people do things that people don't like but when it happens so often it really just makes you question am i really boo boo the fool and like of course like i said we're not really into scarcity politics i'm not about to cancel someone because i still enjoy their music i still respect them as a person i do not respect their views on things that they say are stupid i think certain mistakes they made did not need to be made because you're american so there's no excuse of you living overseas for 10 years and also korea has the fastest internet in the world <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, stop listening to the songs that I have in my playlist that make me feel good, that are that make me happy, and I'm still in and supporting this person. For some people it is, for, for me, I'm being honest, or I guess the bulk of us, it's not as easy to just be like, okay, I'm not going to listen to them ever again, because like, I literally grew up with this person, so what am I supposed to do now? It's just like, I know you're not a bad person but why y'all keep doing stuff like this and then we have a whole bunch of people backing them up and saying oh it doesn't really matter even though they're not a part of the group that is it's being affected a lot of people that just don't understand and they don't care and why am i contouring my forehead when no one's going to see it i feel like danny phantom so yeah i feel like that's just where i'm at like i don't want to ever literally i don't want to stop listening to k-pop k-pop is still something that makes me happy it's not everyone in the k-pop community not everyone it's not all celebrity korean celebrities that do stuff like this but it just really comes it, it really makes you think like am i like what am i doing and yeah not all people are like this but i just feel like it's it's very easy it's just as easy to not offend people 
or a certain group to this extent than it is to do so in 2020. Let me add in 2020 because at this point we all know it's not something you can't say you don't know. People use social media. She has an Instagram. There's no excuse. Like I just, I really want to know why, but I guess I would never know. I guess I can just assume that they don't care. It just hurts. It just hurts and it's just like I'm stupid for listening to you. I'm stupid for paying attention to you. I'm stupid for looking up to you for some reason. Like, why do people do that? My biggest point of making videos, I guess, a video like this is just like to share what's on my mind and how I feel about things like this and my bangs are never gonna look good. I've come to that conclusion. That's why we had so many people that made videos like, I'm done with K-pop because they were just done and I, I respect that. I really, really do. It's something that I have not come to terms with yet. But it just, it really, it, it really sucks. It sucks a lot. It sucks really bad. Like, it makes me angry. So, who's gonna stop? Probably no one. But can y'all at least try? Like, some of y'all, I know some of y'all be trying. Some people do try, but it's just like, I feel like most of y'all just don't care. And that's just what makes me sad as a K-pop stan. Yeah, this video, it wasn't really nothing special. Oh, what I, well, something I did want to say was at least Amber respond to people. And in that moment, I feel like <clears throat> the capacity was bigger than box braids, even though some people might beg to differ. The capacity of the situation was much bigger than box braids, so she had way more people coming up to her. Hey, this is a human right. He was clearly, he clearly did nothing wrong. And so that's where it was just like, okay, who are you? <laughs> but this, honestly, it was just literally in a matter of time. So part of me is just like, uh, don't be surprised, but I'm not gonna sit here and act like it's okay. So, I could be surprised all I want. No, okay, that doesn't make sense. I could be disappointed all I want, and I'm allowed to feel this way. And no, nobody should ever say, why are you guys screaming cultural appropriation? And then have the audacity to be black. Oh my God, <laughs> who are you? Go back for what you came, because it's not from Africa, okay? <sighs> That's where this girl is at. I just want to like express how I feel because I don't know I feel like the more and more I get comfortable sharing the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm not really all the way comfortable with sharing how I feel and I feel like I should be because again if I'm not gonna do it who's gonna do it and of course there's other people that are gonna do it but I just feel like the more people the better it is for the future I just feel first of all this thing doesn't even burn for real it's better to have more voices heard or at least seen than just just not and I want to one day have a bigger platform I'm growing some type of platform on here so I want to at least I want to at least say how I feel and I feel like the more and more I make videos like this, the more comfortable, the more comfortable I get, the more I'll be able to articulate myself better. So hopefully someone that is directly offending someone or a group of people will be able to see it and be like, huh, maybe I shouldn't have, shouldn't have gone to the African lady in Hongdae to do my braids. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But it does get in your, it does get in your throat. <coughs> Canada don't care. Like y'all, let's be real. She doesn't, she doesn't care. There's not gonna be an apology letter. There's not gonna be anything. Like she doesn't, I don't think she cares. Like this bitch is too rich. Like she's, she's too rich. Like she, she doesn't care. So it was just like, dang, like what now? Fiona's doing it. Literally everybody and their uncle are gonna have box braids in 2020 and that's not cute like please stop and for all the people that are gonna be like oh my gosh like here's another black girl talking about culture appropriation while she's doing igari blush and wearing makeup in korean makeup style boys and girls ladies and gents and my non-binary friends um Please use the resources that you have in front of you that you are watching this video on. Use Google, um, use the internet, use your Wi-Fi, 
figure out on your own why this is not culture appropriation. My baby sisters are here. <laughs> um, because I'm tired of explaining to people. Like, I honestly, at this point, you choose to not want to know. Like, you don't want to know. Like, it's... It, if people that aren't black talking about cultural appropriation, well, if people that aren't black talking about cultural appropriation, saying that what this person is doing with cultural appropriation along with black people, hey, oh my gosh, light bulb, maybe it's actually cultural appropriation. Even if they aren't, it's still probably cultural appropriation. Let's not invalidate people's opinions and decisions and how they feel about things. I look cute. My baby sisters are right here, you guys. I'm excited. Yeah, I think this is gonna be cute. Ah. That me? Yeah, that's you. Look in the camera, is it, favor. It's me. Yeah. Look in the camera. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Is it favor? Yeah, that's favor. Favor's talking. Favor's talking. She says hi. Favor's. <laughs> Favor's not talking. <gasps> that's a bubble. Yeah, the screensaver. Favor's, sh Favor's shaking her head. I look cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put on mascara and lashes. You guys, it took me approximately 34 years and 82 seconds to finish my makeup. I to put on my eyelashes and I ate a bowl of cereal and the sun is setting. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope this video made sense. Um, I have this tendency to just like do everything to not make videos like this. But I have to remind myself, my opinion is needed. I need to be heard and people like me need to be heard. So I should just make the videos and get through it. So hopefully the next time, let's hope this doesn't happen again and I don't have to make another video. When it comes to me expressing how I feel about certain things, let's just hope that I can articulate better. My eyelashes are on, kind of. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Peace.